working the only day off like the other day and I I was slacking a little and I apologize but we're back and um, on my little day off Matt put the trans back in with a new thorough bearing a new pilot bearing everything was new um, the little um, edge on that the, on the fingers we dude it's worse I don't even think we can drive this this sucks, Matt's gonna be so upset. He spent all day putting this together. You can't even double clutch it. Yeah, no, dude, you can't do anything. But, yeah, I think the, did we just lose a bolt? Yo, Matt didn't do a great job, dude. We just lost the bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the, the pressure plate, the fingers are bent, so I just need a whole new clutch. Um, I've never had that happen in my life. Um, we got Justin here, the fucking oh, no. tow man. Um, if you guys don't remember, he's the guy that helped me literally move all of my cars from Florida to Connecticut. He's here on a run and he just can't drive for 36 hours. So, this dude, Mr. Motivation, he was like, let's put your lift up today. I said, what? And he said, yeah, dude, let's go. Fucking Ben's got the drill. Um, and we're, I guess we're ready to go. So, uh, we, we're already halfway to Home Depot. We might as well send it. so fucked right now we literally have to shut the car off at stoplights and just pray it starts in here oh my god dude so damn it dude there's so many red lights oh this thing's getting pissed oh my god because i can't get it in first gear i try to shove it in and it stalls out I'm gonna try to play with the master. I mean, regardless, we gotta get a new clutch, but I wanna make it like drivable. Okay. I think there's like a cop behind me too. Like, I don't know. It's like one of those like private investigator SUVs. I don't know. I don't know how it got worse from fixing the throw bearing, the pilot bearing, everything. It got fucking worse. Like it's undrivable. Well, oh, here we go. Train track. Oh, that wasn't bad. I said, fuck it, let's go to Home Depot. Already regretting it. All right, guys, this is real fucking life right now. We're at the Home Depot parking lot. So, I have a theory. I don't know if it makes sense, but it, I, it's better than not trying. So, my throw bearing was all squished and mangle fucked before. And I pushed the rod from the Clutch Master, like, back out. So, I think if I push it back in, it needs that extra throw. Because now that we have a new throw bearing, it needs that extra oomph. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just... I'm desperate and want to drive this thing, but my clutch is all fucked up, dude. So the only way to fix her is to give her more rod. It's real life. Could you do this, Justin? No. No. <laughs> no. I can barely get in the car. How tall are you? Six four. All right, we're down here. My fucking phone. Fucking ass is hanging out. Where the fuck's the rod? I lost it. Oh, sick. It's on this side. Perfect. Good, we're good. All right, so we're gonna push it out. It's an 11, it's a 10 mil for anyone wondering. How many turns do you think, Justin? Ooh, I think you should do four. Four? All right, I'll do Do you ready. have enough for four is the question, though. I don't know. If it falls out, I'm fucked. Well, oh, good thing we know out. people with trucks and trailers. <laughs> That's, so, quarter turn, you're probably talking what? <laughs> to do probably like almost <laughs> 16, 16 turns, turns man oh, the bucket seat makes it extra hard okay so we're gonna try to start it we're gonna see it's better we're fucking rolling which is annoying you ready for this now it doesn't even go in no. that's not saying it's what? in. All right, try it. All right, ready? Yep. We're at, uh, we're at a red light. Not bad. It's still moving, though. We need a new... Ah, 
I'm not in I'm not in gear. We're going backwards. All right, this thing's fucked. So I fucked up. You need a new clutch. So fuck me. So to give you guys a reference, I get this question like a bunch of times. How old tall are you, Justin? 6'4". You're 6'4". How would you say you fit in a Miata? I fit as good as a sardine fits into a sardine can. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, right? Or <laughs> you eat sardines, I guess it's okay. But no, I kind of so you don't like fit great. One, one leg over here. Well, one do you think you'd be able to drive it? No. 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 But given that is with bucket seats, which now that I think about it, you should probably have a little more room. True, true. Maybe if I took the cushion out of the box, oh, yeah. I could get my, my my big ass just down a little bit. Yeah, his knees are literally just up to the dashboard, but we're going to try to get these anchors. If we can get these anchors, we might have a working lift we're today. We're going to lift in. Will, this... you're going to be able to work on your car on a lift. I know. We're not even going to tell him. I want to see if we can get his car on the lift and see if he even notices. But um, hopefully they have the anchors. If not, we're screwed. Good old Tom striked again. He's like, dude, Home Depot always carries anchors. You're good to go. I will say though, the dude, shout out to the dude that works here. He helped us so much. He went on the computer, looked at the Home Depot website, and he wanted to help us so bad. He went to the competition and looked up on Lowe's. So shout out to that man. He's the most help I've ever had at Home Depot. Anyways, I think what? You think we should just set it up? I think we should at least just set it up. Fuck it. I mean, if I got Mr. Motivation here, I might as well. Get on a ladder and get her done. <laughs> yeah, we, we need a ladder for sure. Tom said he had one. He doesn't know what size or anything, but um, we have to lift the lights up. It's actually, it's a lot of annoying work, and that's the reason why I've never done it. I wanted to pay someone, but that guy seems dead. I don't know where the hell he is. He's never calling me back. He, I think he's made so many excuses at this point that he's like embarrassed to come, you know? Yeah. Like he's fucked me so he many times. Dead. Yeah. Oh, it's over there. We just can't see it. <laughs> Things so low. It's okay. If we can get the whole lift set up, we can move the lights and everything. Then all we need is the anchors. But that's not that bad. All right, guys. So this is what a 6'4 guy looks like for reference. Can you do me a favor? Hop in the driver's seat real quick. No. <laughs> Can you get out good? No. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be fun. All right. Let's see it, man. I've been in this before. <laughs> We took it off the trailer. Yeah. I kind of like have to put my knee here. Oh, dude, you can't drive that. Look at your legs. I mean, given though, I'll give. Oh, <laughs> given the seat's not all the way back, so I think if it was all the way back, you would be semi comfortable. I can't even turn the wheel. <laughs> and that's a 330 mil. Yeah. They come stock with a 350 mil. So that's crazy. Speaking of um, his trailer, we finally figured out how the diff broke on this. I'll play the clip right now. Oh yeah. Okay. That's what he did. We were probably going 15 miles per hour. Yeah, there was like six people pushing it. Dude, dude. I was like, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Boom! Um, the beam, it was hanging so low when it banged his trailer, <laughs> it literally probably just knocked that diff and snapped it in half, so. The theory has been solved. You it reminded me of it today. You're like, dude, I know all the diff broke. I got the marks on my trailer. <laughs> it's brand new trailer. Wasn't that your first load? Uh, one of the first. One yeah. Of the first. I would say the first car load. Rod knock luck, dude. You gotta love it. <laughs> all right, let's get um, home. Go for a little tow gate real quick. Sorry. This side's good. This side's good. That's this side's good. <sighs> oh, dude, I think we're good. I think we stopped just in time. Oh, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever debeated in my life. No, that's been like that. Yeah, yeah. Like that. <laughs> that's just racing me out of life. Fuck. Matt's got to um, come get us with the M2 attire and uh, <laughs> that was fun though. That was fun. We were getting down, we dude. Down. We did a little skirt and stuff, dude. It was good. Okay, well, this is, it's too stretched. Don't stretch your tires, kids. 324. There he is, dude. The E85 van. I guess she runs. Well, you can, you can come closer, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep coming, you're good. Where are you going? Well, okay, I don't know what he's doing. You're gonna block the road? Yeah, like come by, park behind it. What the fuck? Put your hazards on. I'm confused what he's doing. There you go. Yo, I must say, dude, thank you so much for doing that transmission, but it was for nothing. We need a whole clutch. The pressure plate's got to be bent or something. Like, I adjusted the rod that goes to the master, and it, it works a lot better. It shifts a lot better, but it's just a matter of time before it grenades, so we're going to order a clutch today. What wheels you bring me, dude? The CR Lies. CR Lies, hell yeah. Cool, it's right there. You didn't bring the gun, did you? Impact gun right there. Oh, cool. Bar there, jack there. Sick, sick. Let's do this. Dude, we got so freaking lucky. Definitely didn't learn my lesson because we're just going to pop this thing back on. I mean, I guess it's time for new tires for sure, but I guess you can't do um, back road runs with these tires. Maybe they're just too old. Maybe if I have brand new tires with that stretch, it's fine. Maybe. Maybe you put the tread the right way. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Shit happens, dude. We probably just put them on the wrong way. Oh, no, it's fine. Bro, they're good enough for a good flip. Yeah, that's it, dude. Just flip them. We'll try the whole run again. We're gonna swap these. All right, so we got the tire on. I guess we should um, check to see if it's good, right? Yeah. There's that stick. All right, so I guess she works. We're gonna head back to the shop. Woo! We're just gonna take it easy. We'll see you there. All right, Will's been prepping this thing for like three days and like I haven't been coming to the shop because I was busy like I was saying and he's just been here grinding. You just looked under, what did you just say? Dude, it looks like a <laughs> aluminum RV that's polished. Dude, it's insane. <laughs> Justin also looks over there, he's like, fuck that. <laughs> Let's see, I haven't looked yet. Oh my God, look at the ground, dude. Haven't looked. Oh my God, this is crazy, dude. Holy shit, Will has been slaying. Oh my God, shout out to Will for this. Ice packs for his wrist, man. Seriously, this is wild. So I think what we're gonna do is we might, we're gonna sand this down more, scratch it back up. I'm actually gonna get a Harbor Freight gun because the more I thought about it, like, Primer, it's like your first layer. It's really like the most protective like from bare metal. We're actually gonna get professional primer from like the store and stuff and like use a proper paint gun because I don't know. I mean, Will's been working so hard on this. I'd hate to just use junk primer and um, have it not come out great. So we're gonna take it to the next level. Um, we'll probably start hopefully primering it. Pro not tomorrow, because Will still has to do these fender wells right here, but we'll get the whole job done on Tuesday. We'll let it sit overnight and then we'll scuff it up a bit and then we can actually put the under um, stuff in and then we can put the subframe back in and we can actually start to get this thing slowly together and honestly my main goal at this point right now is just to get it a roller get the subframe powder coated get all of the arms good all new bushings all stuff like that so this thing can be pushed around and stuff because we still need to order like a couple more things and there's a couple things that I want to fix that I didn't like and you know you know you, you know how it is we're gonna start working on the lift all right guys so bad news is you know, I had Mr. Motivator, I had Justin here and everything. We were gonna throw the lift up. What are we missing? Uh, we're missing a couple things. One of them would be a uh, ladder. So we have a ladder. Tom said, yeah, I got a ladder. Should we show him the ladder? Yeah, let's show the ladder. <laughs> we can't use this ladder. So if you know anything about ladders, 
This ladder, you need something to lean against. It's not like your typical A-frame. This is the only ladder around. And um, how would we ever use that? <laughs> so we tried to, you know, get Matt to hold it for us, but he said that there wasn't enough money in our pocket to uh, <laughs> even get close to it. Because so. Matt was going to go up there. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were going to send Matt up there. I was going to hold it. It was all going to be kosher, but definitely not salt. Yeah, so we're um, definitely not going to do that. Let's go back inside. So, yeah, as you can tell from this video, today was all fucked. I got the... Luckily, the drift event, it was supposed to be Friday, it got rained out. It's not a drift event, it's a private day. But um, they rescheduled it for Tuesday, which is cool. We're just going to end up taking the hot boy. That's why it's in. I just have to do like a little stuff to it tomorrow, just get it all ready, and then we can throw it on the trailer, go Tuesday, be a lot of fun. And then we'll be sending Matt off to Florida. Um, we'll talk about that probably Tuesday's video. But before he even came to the shop today, dude was on the phone look, looking for anchors, looking for the drill. You actually ordered anchors yeah so we ordered the it's like a it's a pack that it comes with uh i think per side is seven anchors or so 14 anchors in total yeah and then it comes with the shims they're they, they're different oh it colors. came with the shims too yeah red blue and green to shim underneath the bolts to level out the so lift. when are you going to be in the connecticut next time so not this coming week but the week after i'm in the process myself of getting something up here kind of why it was up here so we're going to do that and then i'm going to bring up a frames and we're gonna get this knocked out we took them down we can put them back up that's it i, li I like the sound of that so big shouts to justin his instagram's gonna be right here dude you're kind of my motivator when it comes to things like this this dude's like all like he just comes here he wanted to just come hang out he's grabbing brooms like picking things up like you're a trooper dude. and we got matt <laughs> snaking out what's up dude Nothing much, just man. just coming to say bye yeah just saying bye to the, uh, the new employee <laughs> i wish his salary is a bit too much for me to handle. I guess it's I guess it's a shop bitch is, is my total. <laughs> Just to hang out, whatever. But I think we're gonna end the video right here. I'm gonna shoot for a daily vlogs coming now. Now that we're all fresh, numb. There are no weddings, no nothing. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Sorry, this video was kind of short. As you can see, it was kind of a shit show. We don't have the lift up yet, but we will have the lift up soon. I promise this you. Bye.